your girl Leah and I am back at it again with another video and as y'all can already tell by the title y'all already know what's going on today I'm going to be showing you guys what all I have packed in my hospital bag and what all I have packed in my daughter's hospital bag as well but before we go ahead and get into the video y'all already know what time it is make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell so you can be alerted every time your girl drops a new video Woo, I'm out of breath already <laughs> Ooh, baby but anyways guys let's go ahead and get into the video i'm going to show you guys what all i have packed in my hospital bag first and then i will show you what all i have packed in hers um my bag says bless mom with the best job in the world that's what's in the white writing on the bottom and these ropes are actually super soft they're not hard like an actual rope super soft and this bag is really big i got it off of amazon um, they had one on there that said I was going to get the mommy bag one, but they wanted like $150 for it. And I wasn't about to pay that for a bag that I'm only going to use just for the hospital. Um, it was cute though, but this one was more affordable. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was around $60. Um, if you guys want, let me know. I will link it in the description box or I might just do it <laughs> anyways. But okay guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. Let me show you guys what all I have packed. Okay guys. So and I'm a first time mom, obviously, so I really didn't know what all to pack in my bag. Um well I had some help from Google and I watched a few other moms um YouTube videos. To kind of see what they packed in their bag and their babies in their baby's bag as well so it kind of gave me an idea um okay let me go ahead and start with my clothes let me get those out y'all have everything folded neatly so i'm literally gonna have to refold everything but okay guys so first thing i have is my robe so this is the, the robe i have i don't know if you guys can see it's just it's is it yeah it's black it's black and gray yeah i'm colorblind i'm not even gonna lie but yes yeah, this is black and gray it's really cute i got it off of amazon um i think i paid well, it's my mom got it for me but it was like it was around like 30 dollars so affordable and the material is not like super thin but it's not super thick either it's like in between so it'll keep you warm and i got a robe because you know just if i want to be comfortable and a little in a little bit more looser clothing but okay i have that to take and then one of my pajama sets is this shirt oh too hot this shirt right here it's soft and this is actually kylie or this can no it's not i thought that was the one but um i got this from nordstrom nordstrom rack and here are the pants so these are the pants and they're just like a jogger at the bottom really cute super comfortable um, they're not super thin, even though they may look like it. They're warm and they're fuzzy, but not like a scratchy fuzzy, like a soft fuzzy, if that makes sense. And yeah, I'm going to fold this as I go because like I said, I had everything folded. Yeah, I, I used to work in retail, so I fold everything, um, professionally. <laughs> and then this other outfit that I have, pajama set super soft it's super soft it's like a um i don't even know how to describe it it's just like a super soft fuzzy blanket it feels like a blanket here's the top it's polka dots and it buttons up you know you want something that's easy and accessible so i can pop my titty out when i need to feed her <laughs> but yeah it's navy blue and it has my polka dots on it and I got this from Kohl's actually online. And I only paid, it was on sale for 20 bucks, which is not bad at all. The brand is Croft and Barrel, which is actually a good brand. So I snatched it and here are the pants. 
They're navy blue, white polka dots. Then they have like the silk strings and they do tighten. Here's the back. Super cute. Just comfortable, you know, you wanna be comfortable during this whole process. Um, and then I have, so those are my two like pajama outfits and then my robe. And then I have two nursing bras that I'm taking with me to the hospital. So this is one of them. I actually got these off of Boohoo. Yeah, I have small boobs, so. My itty bitty titty committee was was popping. But I got these off of Boohoo. And the reason why they're called nursing bras is because they have like a little snap thing that you can pull up and take off and just pop your titty out. And then when you're done, you can just snap it back in place like nothing ever happened. <laughs> but it's super convenient. And I have a black one as well. I actually got it in a two pack. If you haven't shopped at Boohoo before, um, well, on Boohoo's website, they're actually super affordable. So if you need some nursing bras, grab you some. I can't remember how much I paid, but it was really affordable. This is the black one. And then, let me fold my robe. Yeah, there, there's really no correct way to fold a robe, but, you know, I'm just gonna make it do what it do. <laughs> try my best okay boom and then i don't know why i just did that but i have my going home outfit that i haven't put in my bag yet because i washed my whites the other night and i just had everything packed in my bag and you know stuffed away and i didn't want to mess everything up so i'm just taking my pink hoodie my pink jogging set and I actually did a haul when I did my pregnancy haul like a couple months ago. This was one of the outfits that was in there. And then I just took a white um, long sleeve shirt with me. So put one up underneath because it's going to be cold. It's already as cold here in St. Louis. If you live in the Midwest, you know. And then here are the pants black drawstrings and then they say pink going down the left leg and here's the back and this is um this color oh i just got some of my lipstick on it a little bit this color is like a gray grayish white i don't really know how to explain it but this is super comfortable <clears throat> i've actually only worn this set like twice but that's my going home outfit. Those are all my outfits that I have. So I have two pajama sets. Um, both of them are pant sets because it's most likely going to be cold in the hospital. So I want to be warm. So that is why I pick pant sets and they're super comfortable. Um, and then I have my robe and my going home outfit. So that is it for my clothes. And then I have two pairs of fuzzy socks here's my socks a gray polka dot pair and then a pink white and navy blue striped pair i got these from nordstrom rack as well super cozy you know comfortable i want to be warm and comfortable so yeah and all my clothes that i just showed you guys they have been washed like even my new stuff i washed all my new clothes and everything and my going home outfit as well with her laundry detergent just because you know she's going to be on my body and i don't want anything to irritate her skin but i washed all my clothes with drips anyways just because i have sensitive skin so also while i'm on that topic um i've always struggled with like not necessarily acne but i have breakouts here and there like my forehead a breakout or i recently started to get um like a pimple here and there on my cheeks and my chin just from wearing masks so um but i've noticed my mom actually recommended me using a fragrance free laundry detergent and i started using drift and i've noticed a major difference in my skin so i would try that if you're struggling or you're just looking for 
the right products for your skin right now. Um, try switching your laundry detergent to something that's completely fragrance free and has no scent and that's like hypoallergenic. So Drift is one of them. Make sure you get the pure Drift, not the newborn stage or the level one or whatever it's called. Make sure it says pure Drift on it. Um, then I have a pair of black socks, black Nike socks, just because I brought, just, just because. <laughs> and then I have these super comfortable slippers. They're so, look at them, like they're so soft. And this part, like the sole, yeah, it's so comfortable. Like, it's so comfortable. I don't even know how to explain explain it. It's like layered. It's super comfortable. But I got these from Nordstrom Rack as well. So, because I'm not about to be walking around on that dirty hospital floor. And then I also have two towels packed. One for me, one for PJ. So, just two bath towels. Um, and two and I have them like folded like this just to make more room in my bag um, and then I also have my always discreet boutique underwear for after obviously you know there's going to be, I'm going to be bleeding after I have her. So instead of wearing the underwear that the hospital gives you or buying pads, because I obviously don't, I really don't think those are going to be too absorbent, in which I've heard they're not. And I heard these are really good to use. I'm on TikTok a lot. And I blame my mom for that because she goes on TikTok and she got me hooked on TikTok. So, <laughs> um, I, a lot of women have used these for like postpartum and stuff postpartum must-haves or whatever so i got these in a small slash medium and um they're maximum protection so i've i heard they absorb a lot so i got these and i got these from walmart they're not too expensive they're like 11 something and it comes 12 in a pack and then i have my shampoo right here they're all labeled let's see excuse me my shampoo this is pj's lotion it's not labeled this is conditioner for us and then my lotion as well is in here and then oh my god i, I want to put i'm gonna put this stuff back in my bag because and like, I just need to. Mm. I should have turned this around. There we go. Okay, hold on y'all, I'll be right back. I just wanna put all this stuff back. Okay guys, sorry about that. I just wanted to put everything that I showed you guys back inside, just so I didn't get organized, unorganized. Okay, and then I have a toothbrush. This is not my normal toothbrush. This is just a toothbrush that we have extras of in the closet. And I put one in here, I didn't wanna take mine. Not, not necessarily that I didn't want to take mine, but I didn't want to have to pack stuff at the last minute. I just wanted to be fully prepared and ready to go. And then I packed us some toothpaste, just a small tube, and some dental flosses. And I packed a bar of soap. And then I packed us some mouthwash, some Listerine. And I have to, I do have to put my loofah in here. Um, I actually need to get, well, I could just use bring mine from home. Uh, 
because I know like I'm not gonna be able to take a full shower type of thing. I think my mom said my mom was trying to explain to me like a wash up kind of. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm gonna bring my mom for. And then I also have some Q tips to clean our ears, and I put two brand new hair ties in there as well. And deodorant. I just bought a, bought a travel size of Dove deodorant in the sink. What is this? Cucumber? Yeah. Because I didn't want to bring, you know, my full thing of deodorant with me. It's just taking up extra space. I just want small everything. And then PJ has his toothbrush in here. Same one, just extra toothbrush, and his is blue. And he has his deodorant and his Dove bar soap, men's bar soap. And he hasn't put his clothes in here yet, but honestly, there's no room. So he's most likely gonna have to just bring his own bag for his clothes. But as far as like all his toiletries and towels and stuff, everything is in here. But I took up all the space. And this is a big bag. <laughs> I just wanna be prepared. I personally don't feel like I over prepared. I felt like I brought everything that I needed. Um, but you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. But that is all that is in my bag from my hospital bag. So mine is packed and ready to go. The only two things that I do need to add are my loofah and um, a long charger, which I have, excuse me, but it's plugged in behind the bed. Now I'm gonna get into what's in her hospital bag. Well, this is her diaper bag. Okay. So this is True's diaper bag. I got it off of Amazon. Wait till I show y'all what this thing does. <laughs> it's super cool. It was um, inexpensive. I think it was around 50 ish dollars. Has a lot of different compartments. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have packed on the inside. So I have clothes. Okay. I'm just gonna start with what's on top. So she has her blanket. Not gonna unfold. Well, I guess I can unfold this more. So this is her blanket that her daddy got her. And it says true more. And then there's a T behind it. It's super soft. It's silky and it's pink. Um we got this made off of well, he got this made off of um it was either Bed Bath & Beyond or Bye Bye Baby. I think it was Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, it was. It was Bed Bath & Beyond that we got made off of. So that's where we got her blanket from. Just so she can be warm. I put two receiving blankets in here. Or two flannel blankets, you know. This she can swaddle in. She does have a Halo Sleep Set swaddle. I'm not bringing it to the hospital. I'm going to keep it here. But it's super easy to swaddle your baby in. I got it from Target. But yeah, she has two receiving blankets. It has like elephants on it. And then this one is just pink. And all of her stuff has been washed. Everything has been washed. All of her clothes, all of everything. Her washcloths, her burp cloths, her sheets for her crib, her bassinet sheet, her towels. Everything you can think of has been washed. Socks, everything. And... Okay, so one of the outfits that she has, one of her sleeping outfits. So she has this onesie to go up underneath what I'm about to show you guys. It's so tiny. It's newborn, but it really does look preemie. <laughs> and this is, they're called elastic nightgowns. This is pink with polka dots. You guys can see. It's super cute, but it's elastic at the bottom, so literally it doesn't have any buttons or anything. It just pulls down over their feet, and it's super easy to just lift up and change their diaper in the middle of the night or whatever you need to do. 
Shout out to mom, grandma. She put me onto these. She used them on me. And then it has the mitten thing on the end. So you can do it like that. But I actually packed mittens for her. And specifically wants to go with this outfit. <clears throat> and this is newborn size. This is newborn. So is the onesie. Hold on now. So she has that. And then she has these pink mittens to go with this outfit. The Cloud Island brand. And I got these from Target. It came in like a three pack. And she also has some socks. These socks, they're so tiny. <laughs> they're Gerber. They're actually really thick. And they're fuzzy on the inside, so she'll be warm for sure. So that's the one outfit, sleeping outfit that she has. And... She also has so this sleeping outfit, just another white onesie, newborn size, Gerber. All of her white onesies are Gerber. Excuse me. And then she has another elastic nightgown. This one. It has like purple hearts on it. It's cute and it kind of like crosses in the front. Elastic at the bottom. And then it does have the thing like to cover her her hands and her nails so she doesn't scratch herself. But I brought mittens <laughs> for this one as well, just because I wanted to. And her grandma bought all of this stuff. Look, she, she bought the nightgowns that I packed <laughs> amongst plenty of other things. But these two nightgowns in particular, her grandma got her. Excuse me. And then I packed her some gray mittens, Cloud Island brand that I also got from Target. And I packed her these purple Oshkosh Bigosh socks to go with it. I got these from Carter's. Came in like a 10 pack or something like that. I don't even remember. But those are two sleeping outfits that she has. Then she has one more that's actually zero to three months. But my baby's gonna be on the smaller side, which my doctor's already said. And because I'm small. So that's why I packed newborn stuff. This one is zero to three months. It's Cloud Island, I got it from Target. And it has, you know, like the footies at the bottom. And this one actually zips up, it doesn't button. Well, it buttons right here, but it zips. And it also has the mitten part where it can fall down. I didn't bring mittens for that one. Just because I really don't think she's going to wear this one. Just because it is zero to three months. But you never know. And then she has her outfit for her pictures, which is her swaddle set. And her bow. And I bought this onesie to put up underneath Gerber. And it's also newborn size. Everything in her bag is newborn size. It says all happy things, happy smiles over and over again. Super cute. And then here's the swaddle right here. I'm not going to undo it all the way, but it's literally just, it's super soft. It's off-white, like a cream color swaddle. And it's, um, how do you, I don't know how to explain it, but it's super cute, y'all. And here's the bow to go with it. The headband bow thing, super cute. And then I packed her some more Gerber socks, but these are actually different from these ones. So these are the ones to go with her swaddle set for her pictures. And they're just fuzzy and they're actually off-white too. So they're the same color as her swaddle set to match. Did that outfit for her pictures. 
and I'm not too sure if they're still doing pictures just because of COVID. I heard that they weren't, but that was in a different state. I was watching Dam or Damien and Bianca's channel. And I was watching a video from like two months ago when Bianca packed her hospital bag and she said that they weren't doing hospital pictures, but I don't know, it could be different for every state. So I packed one just in case. And I want to take pictures just for me to have and you know, my mom and PJ. And this is her last outfit that she has packed. This is her going home outfit. And her grandma bought this one as well. So this is the shirt. It says the new princess has arrived. It's Gerber. It does have the things that fall down for the mittens. And it buttons up. Super cute. Pink. And here's the onesie. Yeah, it's so cute. It's like a off-white. And it's gold and it has crowns all around it. See the crowns on it? And like stars. And this is zero to three months, which I think is gonna be a little bit big on her, but all of her going home outfits, like these are zero to three months. And then here's the pants. So tiny. And it has crowns on it as well and stars. And the cap to go with it. Crowns and stars on it as well. And it ties at the top. And then that's it for her clothes. Everything that I have packed for her clothes. I feel like this video is going to be really long. But, <laughs> um, yeah, y'all. That's it for her, uh, close so i'm gonna go ahead and put all of this back in here really quickly well the stuff that's at the bottom because she has stuff in here and then i also packed her three bibs i know they probably give you some at the hospital but i want to have my own because everything has already been washed so and this is i'm pretty sure neat solutions but this is by the brand yeah, Neat Solutions. I got these one. Well, these were actually a baby shower gift from Target. This one has flowers on it. This one is pink. And then this is just a plain white one. But I packed three just in case. Three of my own. And then I also packed her two burping cloths. So she has two white burping cloths. These are the really, really good ones that my mom also put me on to. I got these off of Amazon. They're Gerber. And, you know, like, well, for, for people with kids, a lot of the burping cloths, when they spit up on them, it, like, doesn't soak it up. These will soak it up so it doesn't run off on you to your clothes or hers or his. So make sure you grab a pack of these. <coughs> Excuse me. I got them off, them. I got them off of Amazon. Um, my mom ordered them. I think they were like ten dollars but it was a 10 pack so yeah she has two burping cloths and those have been washed as well like i said everything has been washed um but that is everything that she has clothes wise on the inside so i'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff back just so i don't get my work list real quick But yeah, y'all, I personally think that I didn't overpack. I mean, you can let me know if I did in the comments, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to take anything out. Or if there's anything that you think I'm missing, comment down below and let me know. I really don't want to take too much to the hospital because I don't want to have a whole lot to take home. Um, oh, this part murky. Okay. And then I also packed her a pack of wipes. I am using the Honest Brand wipes by Jessica Alba. Get it from Target. And I'm also using the Honest Brand diapers. I've heard really good things about them. I think I don't like is the print. These are giraffe, but it's whatever their diapers. Um, these are newborn. I know that the hospital gives you some, but I want to use my own. I packed 10 of them along with the wipes. And I also already sterilized her binkies and these are the Avent ones, however you say it. And there's a pink and a purple one in there. 
pink and purple. So those have been sterilized and good to go. Her wipes. Yeah, this is gonna be a long video, y'all. <laughs> so make sure you grab your snacks. And then I also packed some A and D ointment. This is for like diaper rashes and stuff, but your baby really shouldn't have diaper rash unless you're one of those people that leave your baby sitting in pissy diapers all day and shitty diapers. My baby will not be. Mm -mm. No, ma'am, I don't play that dirty stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. But I brought it just in case. Never know. Uh, and yeah, y'all. That is everything that I have for her packed in her diaper bag. I did want to show you what this diaper bag does. If you're interested in buying it, if you're a first time mom or you're pregnant with your baby and you're looking for an inexpensive diaper bag, like I said, I got this off of Amazon at a decent price. It was only like $50, $55 after tax, something like that. But I will do my best to find this exact one and link it down in the description down below. Okay, yeah, watch this. <laughs> so, this literally folds out into like a changing table. So, here's the pad that it comes with. And this sheet has been washed. Mama, don't play. Everything has been washed. And look. Come on, y'all. Let me undo it. Okay. It literally folds out into. And there's bars on the side that you click together. Click them together. Hold on. It's gonna come together just just the process. Right? <clears throat> just the process. Okay. And it comes out like this. And then I have stuff in here, so. That's why it's not standing up. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, see. There you go. Okay. And then you just set the pad in there. Like this. And then you change your baby. How convenient is that? Like you never know where you're gonna be. If you're out in public, you know, I'm I've never put my baby on one of them um them changing tables in the bathroom or if you're at somebody's house and you know you just want to change your baby real quick or whatever you have to do this is super convenient like who you know what diaper bag but yeah i got this off amazon so that's what it does and then if you want to watch me put it back you just take the bars they're magnetic so you pull them apart and push them down you can see me okay and then you literally just push it up. And these bars kind of just like crisscross over each other. Like that. And then the zipper, you just zip it back up. But yeah, yeah, it's super convenient, like, very convenient. And then you can just stick the pad right back down in here. And, you know, you can wipe it off after you get done changing your baby with a, a wet wipe or a antibacterial wipe, whatever you prefer to use. Voila. Amazon, 55 bucks. And it also has a USB port right here. But it's, you can't really, well, you can charge your phone, but you need a power bank. Like, you connect the cord. They give you a cord. There's a zipper on the inside that has a cord on it. You plug the USB port in. Then you plug the power bank in <coughs> to that USB port. And then you need an extra charger to charge your phone. But, I mean, it's something. And then it comes with these straps. You can go like this, you know, if you want to hang something on it or whatever. There's a compartment back here as well that unzips. Um, there's two compartments on this side. 
This bag is just full of compartments. It's super spacious and it's inexpensive. But yeah, y'all, um, that is all that I have packed in my daughter's bag for the hospital and my bag as well. Um, if you feel like I'm missing anything, comment down below and let me know. I am out of breath. I'm not going to lie, which is why I sound like that. But um, yeah, and, oh, and also has the buckle thing right here. But I'm going to link both of these bags down below in the description. Like I said, I got them both off of Amazon. So if you're interested and want to purchase these for your baby or babies, do that. They're inexpensive. And if you're a first time mom, this would be a good video to watch because I honestly really didn't know what to pack in my bag. I just kind of winged it. And like I said, with the help from Google and a couple other moms, but I think I did pretty good. But comment down below and let me know. But yeah, y'all, before I go, I did want to touch base on just a couple of the things. Um, as far as my weight, um, this is the most that I've ever weighed in my life. I actually just stepped on the scale right before this video and I weigh 129.8 so I literally <laughs> almost weigh 130 pounds might as well say 130 um I'm excited I really do hope that I keep my baby weight after I have my daughter I'm gonna try my best I'm gonna work out um I've always been active uh, like I've you know always worked out and stuff so that won't be a problem um I hope I can keep the weight as much as possible but if not i would love my body irregardless but i am going to try um and yeah yeah i have stretch marks all over the back of my ass cheeks underneath my ass cheeks and majority such based on <laughs> based on but um yeah i just want to update you guys on my weight and everything um baby girl weighs a little bit over five pounds and as of yesterday um sunday I am 30, 35 weeks. So exactly five more weeks till she gets here. <laughs> I'm so excited. The time has flown by. I cannot wait till she gets here. God is so good. But okay, y'all, I feel like I'm rambling now. Um, that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. And if you're new watching this, thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. Um, and then just let me know if I'm missing anything. But like I said, I'm, I think I did pretty good. But just let me know down below. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will catch y'all in the next one.